What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys some more spin tires mods Now the first mod we're gonna be looking at is this insanely modified beetle now This thing comes with huge mud tires as you guys can see um, a massive V8 engine and Tons of power it this thing is definitely one of the fastest vehicles. I have in spin tires um, definitely one of the fastest vehicles that's available as well and It throws mud everywhere. This is probably one of the best, if you're looking for something that just for sheer mudding, this is definitely up there. This is definitely a mud vehicle. It can do other stuff. I mean, it's not going to do your rock crawling because it just doesn't have the clearance for that. But for sheer mudding, this thing is awesome. This thing is monstrous for mudding. And in fact, let me see if I can take it to, to an area where it's specifically just mud. Because there's one down this way, but... This will actually give me a chance to show you guys how fast this thing is because despite those huge tires, this thing is actually quite quick as you guys can see. It's not quite as quick as say the Volga Dragster, but it's definitely up there. It has it has power. It has considerable amounts of it has considerable amounts of uh, of grip as well, which I don't know, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't really think that it would be too grippy and, and in fact it does get top heavy at times, but other than that though, there are definitely very few issues to this thing. It's it's definitely up there with a lot of the quickest vehicles that I have. And the nice thing about it is that it's very easy to jump. It it loves to jump. It loves to get airborne. Pretty much every chance you give it to jump, it will take it. Now let's see what kind of stuck situation we can get ourselves into. Just so just so I can show you how easy it is to get back out again with this thing. Alright, so I'm gonna park in the mud, and then I'm gonna turn the all-wheel drive and the diff off, so I literally, so I just spin and get stuck in the mud. So that's with all-wheel drive, no diff lock. And then you kick the diff lock on. And if there isn't a tree there, if there isn't a tree there, you're fine, but if there's a tree there, nah, it's not that great. Wow, really? Going back to these bushes and spin tires, bushes and spin tires... Literally, they just they just kill your run. It, like, just everything about it. They just kill it. Alright, I turned the all-wheel drive and diff lock off. So, specifically, just to get stuck. Then, now with the all-wheel drive on, we're still not moving. Now, with the diff lock, just pulls it out straight away. And I have an exact, um, I have an exact route that I kind of want to take, if we can get it straight. Um, it does like to go sideways. That's something that you do have to remember with this thing, is that it does like to go sideways a lot. Um, so... You kind of have to be aware of that, but I mean going over going over mud and stuff like this You're totally fine there. Are m most vehicles would sink in this stuff This doesn't and even when it does start to sink it'll pull itself out. No problem at all And in fact, I want to see if it can climb that waterfall. I have a feeling it'll probably won't but eh, It's still worth a try, right? Full power. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I didn't expect it to because that's a huge thing to ask of this thing, but I don't know. I was a bit hopeful for it, but still. Well, you can go along the edge and climb it. Yeah, if you go along the edge, you're good to go. So this beetle has basically just officially climbed a waterfall and then climbed a tree and backflipped. And I don't think it's getting back on its wheels from here. Or, well, maybe. If we just kind of keep working it in this direction, we might be able to... Nah, never mind. Nah, there's no way we're tipping this thing back over. I was really worried we were going to land in a tree and get caught. Because <laughs> that's a big issue. If you ever, uh, if you ever snap, like, uh, do the snap respawn in the woods, you can instantly flip. Either instantly flip or get caught in a tree. And just for the fun of it, let's see what kind of let's see what it can do as far as rock crawling goes. I mean, I know, like I said, that's not what it was built for, but we can still see. Oh come on! Yeah, it wants to. It just doesn't have the clearance. That's the issue. It just doesn't have the clearance for it. Maybe if we keep. No, maybe. Oh, dude, it's so close. Well, it made it. 
The mud bug made it, uh, made it up a rock crawling obstacle. I was actually quite surprised at that. I didn't think it was going to make it. I thought it was just going to continue to get caught on its underside because it doesn't have that much clearance at all. I mean, yeah, it has decent clearance, but it's not all that great. I'm actually going to see what, what happens if we... Yeah, let's jump it. It's probably going to... Yeah, just fall nose first. And I kind of thought that... I kind of figured that was coming, but... And I'm actually going to rescue it so I can show you guys how this thing does in just sheer mud. And that's not the... No. <laughs> That's not how I wanted to show that. A lot of vehicles, when you rescue them, they glitch and, like, respawn into the ground. It's weird. Like, cars do it, trailers do it. It's it's a really weird thing that a lot of vehicles and spin tires seem to do. I don't know why they do it. It's just really strange. Yes, this is the kind of mud I needed to be able to show you guys just how, just how this thing goes through mud. Come on. It sometimes has a trouble has trouble getting a bit of traction, but once it gets it, it goes. And yeah, it's gonna be a slow go, but then again, think about it. You're in mud. Come on. There we go. It was just spinning for a while. Now we're now we're really going. Once it gets grip, it just goes. Absolutely no problem. And then mud uphill as well. Still not gonna not gonna be really be that much of a problem for it either. I doubt it can get through this though. A lot of it. Whoa. Okay, maybe no. I was like, maybe I spoke too soon, and then it took a nose dive. A lot of vehicles, as you guys know, a lot of vehicles have trouble here. Does it, wait a minute. Did that seat... That seat does say... Dub on it. Are you serious? Good grief. It says dub on it? Oh, man. Trying to work it up on top of these rocks. Come on. We're nearly there. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Almost flipped it. And boom! Yes! Oh, final obstacle. Don't get stuck now. It's caught. We're nearly out. So dang close. Yes! Yes, we made it out. That's actually one of the... I want to say now that's probably four vehicles that I've ever gotten to make it through that area, but definitely, definitely like this thing. Um, and as far as its capabilities, they're definitely up there, and it's a really fun mod to use as well, because it's kind of offbeat, and it's just, you know, you got this bug body, but you got this massive engine sticking out of the front, and you got this hot rod front end, you got these giant mud tires, and it definitely is a really good looking mod, really well done mod, the details are done well, and I highly recommend checking it out. There'll be a link in the description box below. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.